How to Outwit Your Brain and Bounce Back Quicker. I'm going to read something to you today that came to me during a morning meditation. Let's call it a divine download, if you will. It's something that I fleshed out and turned it into this piece that you're about to hear. Let's discuss joy, pain, and your ability to bounce back from setbacks. But let's start with your brain. As a human, you are wired to focus on a limited number of things. Your mind chooses priorities at any given moment and tunes out everything else. It does this so it can dedicate your available resources to focus on the current crisis or opportunity before you. That's why intense feelings and experiences often feel like they will last forever. Your brain blocks your ability to consider a different state of mind. The satisfying glow of a new relationship, job, home, or car seems eternal. Likewise, the pain of a breakup or other loss seems never-ending. The truth is, everything is temporary. Both extremes, the highs and the lows, will eventually be replaced by the next priority and its corresponding emotion. So, the next time you're feeling depressed or angry at the world, try to remember this sage statement. This too shall pass. The pain will subside over time, depending on the severity of the circumstance. The loss of a loved one will understandably take longer to move through than the frustration of getting a flat tire. The same is true for intense states of happiness and joy. Those, too, will evolve and morph over time. So, how can you use this knowledge of brain science to your advantage? My advice is be gentle with yourself when you're in a negative state. Don't ignore the feeling. Acknowledge it, but do so without wallowing in it and making it part of your identity. And remember that it's only temporary. And when you are experiencing happiness and joy, as well as confidence, contentment, and other positive emotions, be fully present with them. Bask in the glow and fully feel it. Accentuate those high points. Because, as you know, every perception of the human mind is temporary. I guess the key to a fulfilling life is learning to ride the waves and doing your best to thoroughly enjoy the highs and minimize the lows. Let me know your thoughts. Did you find this helpful? Leave a comment. Thanks for listening. This is Bob Baker saying so long for now.